I've realized a few things. I need to have an extra feeding tube just in case. And tape, which I'm learning that the MeFix tape that I use every single day doesn't stick in the water. Good morning guys and happy 4th of July. How are you, honey? The blank stare. I knew the answer to that question. It's a rough morning for Mary. It just feels like every day, well, for the last like what, week or so, I've been starting to feel like low grade feverish and just kind of like whatever is causing these headaches feels like it's coming more like systemic, I guess. Is that a yeah, good way to I mean, describe it? They're persistent and I think Mary's feeling it not just as a headache, but like just her whole body feeling. Yeah, like my lungs just, are like achy and tired and exhausted and yeah. it's just after finishing best and everything. And I was just telling Peter, like I feel like every day I'm just putting a band-aid on my symptoms. Take the medicine, make my head feel better, and then... Yeah. But I want to enjoy my summer, and... Yeah. Well, I mean, that's good that you can put a band-aid on it. I think yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, obviously we'd want to address the deeper issues, and... And we we're will. thinking it might be sinus surgery, but we're waiting to get in with the sinus surgeon in a month. And so we do go see the neurologist in two days on Friday and see what their perspective is on everything. But I think from our perspective, we're feeling like this is probably sinuses, <coughs> like playing yeah. the biggest part in all of this. I'm so curious because he'll be able to look at it like i'm assuming he'll be able to look at it from like a broader perspective like what could be other contributing factors that mm -hmm. maybe he could help yeah. like what if the botox treatment could help or some other medication if there is i don't know like we're just gonna go and see but yeah. anyway so that's how i feel i just feel like frustrated yeah. and in about an hour i'll probably be feeling better and then we can move on but it was funny i was just sitting here thinking like uh vlogging life doesn't take vacations mm -hmm. like a lot of people are on vacation today um and peter's been working and and that's okay it's totally <laughs> fine we love it we do we and love making these videos and sharing our day whatever it looks like whether it's on the couch or whatever and i was also thinking how cf doesn't take a vacation so maybe that's why we're like, hey, yeah. might as well vlog, might as well edit, because we're already doing everything else we always do on any yeah. other day. Yeah. <coughs> but since it is the 4th of July, the <coughs> lake that we go to, I think the boats <coughs> this evening have a little uh, parade around the lake. People decorate their boats and stuff. So if we're feeling up to it later, we might go out on the water just like towards sunset and enjoy the evening. But before then, I, at the end of yesterday's vlog, I got our baby back ribs all ready to go into the oven today. And so they are cooking. There's about an hour left. And so I'm gonna start working on some of our sides. So I think we're gonna make, Mary wants corn, baked beans, and I'm gonna make Brussels sprouts. So, here we go. Alright. And we need to reuse that tin foil since we ran out. Okay. So if you just keep it all. I have to say, you are an expert grill, like, rib person. Learned a method that works well for us. It's all about the slow cook. Yeah, so right now they just look like that, but soon they'll be all charred. Okay, the ribs are covered in barbecue sauce. We'll wait until the rest of the food is almost ready to throw those on here. But we got baked beans boiling, we got some Brussels sprouts. I used the 
a piece of the tin foil from the outside of the ribs so it's got a little bit of the rib juice down in there so those are cooking I think yeah that's coming along those get a little more cooked I will um, try to brown those up on the outside we got corn defrosting in here getting there it is hot out here and this grill is hot too okay yum 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 wow cooking on a 500 degree grill in 95 degree heat equals a lot of sweat but that's okay so we're gonna sit inside here in the air conditioning. Our air conditioning is, it's doing an okay job of keeping up. <laughs> Hashtag struggle bus. Struggle bus. But, but it's cool enough. Yeah, it is. Thanks for cooking out in the heat. Oh, it was fun. I like, <laughs> I love grilling. He goes, this was from being out in the outside for two minutes. The butter is like completely melted. Like a popsicle on a 4th of July. July. Makes me melt like a popsicle on the 4th of July. Brussels, ribs, baked beans. Maryland corn. Maryland corn. This is our last bag. Oh, wow. Well, let's eat. Okay, you guys, we have been cleaning this house and just working. Uh-oh. They're coming for us. And like all day I've been, well, I'm feeling better than when I was on the couch. And I'm just feeling kind of shaky. I think that that might be from, I took Excedrin today for my headache. And it has caffeine in it. And I can have caffeine, like that's not a problem, but I think it made me feel shaky. But anyway, so I'm just kind of like, Ugh. But Peter was like, do you want to go on the boat? Cause they have like a parade. And that's something, isn't that like from your childhood? I don't know that I ever watched the parade really, but they You did and I it. did. Yeah, we did a couple of years ago. Or last year, maybe. Whenever it was. I think it was yeah. a few years ago. And I was just like, I really don't want to put the effort into going out on the boat, but I want us to go do that. Yeah. So I am not going to let this stop me. Like, I'm feeling like maybe you should hold the camera since I'm shaking it, okay. but like, yeah! Let's I wanna do it. go. Right. I wanna go. I wanna go with you. I wanna make this memory. Alright, let's do it then. I was I was thinking we were gonna have like an idiot moment. Boom dunk. brought Mary packed us a little snack of popsicles and cheese. cheese and chips and cookies. Cookies. And we're making traditions. Yeah, we're gonna sit, watch the sunset. And, I gotta get uh, the scissors. The scissors. It's funny how uh, afraid people are of the environmental police. On our way out here, <laughs> we had how many? Like three, three people. Three people stop groups. stop us and say, "Hey, the environmental police are out there." <laughs> I, yeah, I think because people do illegal things, but we're gonna try to just eat our popsicles and not be illegal. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so we're just hanging out, making memories. Oh yes, and we gotta give Ollie his big bone, and he's oh, yeah. wearing his um. Red, white, and blue handkerchief, whatever it's called. Bandana. Do you want your big bone? I'm gonna put it right here for you if you want it, okay? All right. How's that string cheese? Mm, delicious. Legal or illegal? I think it's legal. You think? As long as we don't throw this in the water. We won't.
welcome for all this amazing footage. Hello. All right, you want to show us your just in case stash on the boat? Yeah. Over the last couple of times we've been on the boat, I've realized a few things. I need to have an extra feeding tube just in case. So I have an extra feeding tube. It's a, one of the sizes that I previously used. It's not my current size, but it would do it just in case, you know? And then we've got some just in case extra gauze and tape, which I'm learning that the Mefix tape that I use every single day doesn't stick in the water mm. very well anyway. Some extra batteries for the pump and some other stuff. Some sunscreen from our trip to Disney World. No, not Disney. Discovery Cove. Yeah. Um, and that. I yeah. don't know. The other day we were, I think it was Sunday, so we weren't filming. Uh, we were tubing and we were thinking, good thing we have the extra feeding tube just in case. I mean, it could really, I guess I saw a Facebook post from like a family with a child with CF and it was a picture on their vacation and like you could just see that his feeding tube was missing and they were like, what do we do? And I was like, oh, thanks for the reminder. I need to put a feeding tube on our boat. Yeah. So, got what we need. Hey Ollie, do you like the sunset? Should we give him a little sunset update? Look at that. Party. The parade is definitely happening. I think we might be the caboose. No, we got more coming in. Oh, good. Oh, firework. Really? Oh, dear. Oh, boy. Wait, that's it? Those are the quietest. <laughs> it's we're in a parade. Wave to everybody. Wow, we are way less festive, but we are still having fun. Yeah, they went all out with the American flags up there. <laughs> yeah. Hooray! Woo! Happy Fourth of July! Happy Fourth of July! Happy Fourth of July, everybody! And there's a ton of people along the shore cheering, and it's so cute. And everybody loves Ollie. More fireworks! Woo or smokestacks! Yeah! They're messing around there. You guys good? <laughs> that is a legit parade right there. Look at all the boats. I like you. I like you a lot. Fun. So fun. Making Making memories in your heart. <laughs> Making memories in your heart. Making memories on the boat. Here we are. Here tonight. we are. Here we are. <coughs> what is happening? Goals for next year? Get some lights. Yay! So. This is awesome. Well guys, thanks for coming out, celebrating today with us and uh, And every day. Yeah, that's something we we like to do is celebrate life. And as always. As always. We will, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. Oh. Good night, everybody. No, we are not going to sleep on the boat. Good night for now. Wow, I'm glad I didn't drop the camera in the water.